A question I've been getting asked a lot in the comments section is all about the driver impact position. Because in fairness, I make quite a few videos on the, the impact position of an iron because it's massively important. People want to understand about compression and the positioning of the body as you're about to strike the golf ball. But I have to admit, content, we don't make much content on what the positioning of the body should be at impact when you're hitting the driver. We all talk about trying to hit up on the driver to lower the spin, increase the launch. Obviously, if you've got lots of speed as well, the combination of those two creates a really long, beautiful tee shot. So in short, the impact position of a driver should look something like this. The lead hip going over the lead foot, the spine angle tilted ever so slightly away from the target, the hands pretty much level or ever so slightly behind the golf ball as you're striking it, and the lower body kind of rotated a little bit to the target side of the golf ball. Now, how do we achieve that? That is one of the key questions in this because a lot of the impact positions are down to your swing path, your rotational ability, your flexibility, your restrictment, restrictments, rest restrictions in your golf swing. So one of the key things you want to try and do at setup is to first of all, just kind of make sure you've got the ball position on the inside of the, in the lead heel. Spine angle tilt is literally going to go from the middle of the stance as you slide the club in behind the golf ball, notice how my spine angle just tilts ever so slightly. We're talking five degrees, okay? I want you to try and tilt your spine angle one degree because I'm sure it will do a little bit too much. One of the key issues I see is golfers standing like this, all right? And then they kind of end up with a really poor kind of shoulder rotation and the shoulders then become parallel to the, the ground when really they should be more on this angle. So set up with the the spine tilt away from the the golf ball at setup is something i see a lot of golfers get wrong because they probably watched tips in the past and then over exaggerated what they've watched now going going outside of the the, the general setup position the, the the first movement for the golf from the way down is a rotation okay now it's a rotation as the arms start to work down towards the ground, okay? So that's a key one here, because the minute you start to rotate towards a golf ball with both club and lower body, the club then starts to work more on the outside. It then starts to hit down on the golf ball. And if it works from an out to in swing path, it will obviously hinder the positioning that you could get into at impact. So what we're gonna try and feel is as you're working down, the arms will work down as the lower body just drives and this is where you want to try and feel that separation between upper and lower your upper body is going to work to the ground as your lower body works to the target okay so your trail shoulder is going to work to the ground as your tr lead hip works to the target and that's one of the key things in this you want to really feel like you're there okay now again, you don't, want to, you don't want to exaggerate that spine tilt because then you end up with the body weight being on the right foot, on the trail foot. But equally, you want to make sure that the lead hip is over the lead foot. So there are my two really key important areas for this shot. Making sure that your lead hip gets over your lead foot and that your trail shoulder works down towards your trail foot. Now you've got your lower body separated away from your upper body, lower body's rotated towards the target, and your upper body spine tilt is away from the target as well. That's gonna help you with launch, it's gonna help you with path. It's also gonna help you with the ability to rotate, because now you're able, now your lower body's in front, you've got plenty of turn as you work up through the golf ball. So you get a nice high ball flight, and most importantly, you get a straight ball flight, okay? So that's one of the things that you can do to shallow out the swing on the way down to then hit up on the ball on the way through. So you're improving your impact position, but at the same time, you're kind of looking after the, the quality of the swing path, the quality of the body's rotation through impact, but also the quality of ball striking as well. Because as I previously mentioned, if your swing starts to turn from the top of the backswing in this sort of position, then you're gonna be in a little bit of trouble. Also as well, don't be afraid to release the golf club because the golf club's gonna release in your hands as you're about to hit that shot. As the club comes down, you're gonna release the club in towards the ground, which then squares the club face up. 
you never want, you see a lot of golfers now, it's almost like the sexy new golf swing to hold off impact through the golf shot. That's not a key thing to do on the driver in particular because you want to be really, that golf club is always rotating on its arc. So you want to be releasing the golf club down and getting the club square with a little bit of added loft hitting up on the golf ball. Then you've got that freedom within your rotation to create lots of power. So the impact position is going to look ball positions for in the, in the lead foot, set up impact. And the difference I've made there is by pushing my lower body towards the target, my lead hip over my lead foot with rotation. And then in doing so, I've increased my spine angle tilt away from the golf ball, but I haven't lost my spine angle at posture as well. So that's one of the key things is to maintain posture. So you can also do this from that position. You're trying to get that trail shoulder working down. As that lead hip goes forward, the trail shoulder goes down. You notice I've still got my posture. I haven't kind of early extended into the golf ball. I've maintained posture, rotated through, and that is a powerful, powerful impact position. Guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this tip. Windy, windy day here at the amazing Saunton Golf Club. Thanks for watching. See you next time.